So episode 7 of the 5th season of Fear dropped last night titled Still Standing. Now if you haven't seen the episode this is a warning for you there's going to be full spoilers so before I start giving my thoughts and opinions on the episode there's going to be spoilers so you've been warned. Oh I can't believe they're doing it. I actually can't believe they're going to be killing off Alicia next week because when they killed off her mom and her brother last season, I thought, okay, they're going to have to keep her alive till the very end of the season, or the whole show in general. Same way they're going to have to do the same with Judah, because they killed off Carl last season when they shouldn't have, they should have kept him till the very end of the show. So they're kind of, kind of fixing themselves now with keeping Judah alive. But now they're doing what they did with Carl to Alicia, the last remaining Clark, Clark member, of the, last member, last remaining member of the Clark family is dead, because she got the contaminated walker blood in her mouth, which... I seen a slash up and I was thinking when that, hap- when that happened I was like I, it's a bit weird blood going right in her mouth and she's going to be okay and then she pulled down the shirt and you could see the um the little vial that said they were contaminated and you could see it in her face she was shocked so if they go back on their word now and saying that no she's okay it was only a little bit of blood I, can't, I don't think I can't see them doing it but just in case they do it's ridiculous because they've been foreshadowing this the entire season I didn't think it would be a leash to get this I in the real back in my mind that maybe Morgan was going to do it but I thought no they better not kill Morgan because they've had a the few shots this season where he's looking in a window at a walker and the walker's face is reflecting on his face to make him look a bit like a walker so I thought oh maybe they're going to kill Morgan off but I kind of thought they shouldn't because it's Morgan he's from the first episode of the very first season of The Walking Dead so they really shouldn't kill him off but the fact that they're going to kill off Alicia I think I'm a bit more annoyed because she, she's some such an important Fear the Walking Dead character. The only one left from season one now is Strand because who knows when Daniel's going to come back. But that they're going to kill her off because she was trying to save these kids that I hate the storyline ever since they was introduced because it's just back and forth and back and forth. If they just, if the kids just stay where they are the first time, Alicia should be still alive and it, it's, I'm so fond of Alicia's character I think it's very annoying and the fact that Alicia and Morgan have been fighting, well not really fighting, it's just being, I think it's for the viewers they're like who's going to come in first, who's going to be the A-lister character rather than and he's gonna be the main lead and he's gonna be the side lead and now that if obviously if Alicia dies Morgan goes to the front, front lines but I've been kind of hoping that it would just be the two of them in the front lines together rather than one of them pushing forward and it looked like Morgan's gonna be for, pushing forward so Luciana's character only has about one or two scenes in this entire episode but from the very first scene that she's in I came to the realization that I actually hate her character because she I, she said something very small I don't know what she said but as soon as she said it my eyes just rolled and I've Throughout the season, I've been doing it. Every time she says it, I'm like, oh, gee, she's talking again. So I really I hate Luciana's character. I find her so irritating. Even though they're all positive, she's annoyingly positive, And I don't understand why she's still alive. Because Nick's dead. Just kill her off already. They should have given her Alicia's death. Not not keeping her alive. I don't understand why she's still alive. It's starting to annoy me now that she's still alive. So Grace tells Morgan where, she can find, where he can find a car to help get the helicopter propellers out of there and back to the garage. So she... She go. He goes where it is, finds it out the place she sent him to. It was actually her old house from where she lived. So Morgan finds a hazmat suit and a truck. So he drives down to save um, Strand and Charlie. Kills all the walkers. Gives loads up the truck. Tells Strand and Charlie to go back to the, the truck stop. Get everything set up and ready to go. And Morgan in his hazmat suit is now on his way over to help Grace. So Grace can get done faster and come back and get in the plane with them. Which all goes according to plan. And I'm starting to gather now. Well... I've been thinking for a couple of episodes now, but I really started thinking that when they were having, I think they were, they were just sitting down after fixing generator, they were sitting down talking, and I'm getting a lot of vibes where they're kind of setting up a relationship with them, which is good. Cause Morgan, I always, I, back in season six, I think it was, of The Walking Dead, I was thinking Morgan and Carol were going to get together. Never worked out. So I think it's time for Morgan to get love interest. And Altia kind of tells June what happened to her she tells her that she met someone and that she hasn't felt the way she felt for this person in so long so June was kind of reflecting on it saying this the same way she felt about John and Altia was saying she'll never see her again but then June gave her whole speech about I can't remember what the speech was about but it wasn't it was about how love and then I think it helped Altia a lot I ha- I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie that part, part really bored me so I kind of lost interest and I wasn't really listening I just know that there was a big love speech and that's it so John and Dwight are also on their way back to the petrol station, but the cars keep breaking down because they keep running out of petrol, ironically. But then John reveals to Dwight that he found a note that Sherry doesn't want him to look for anymore. 
I thought it was going to go a different way where so Dwight gets out of the car. I thought he was going to get really annoyed and maybe try kill John or just run away. But instead, he says to John that Cherry is what I'm finding. He's going to embrace it. He's going to help Morgan and the whole gang and help people. And hopefully along the way, he'll actually help Sherry and get Sherry back to him. But he, he, he's given up on the whole looking for Sherry thing. He's just going to embrace it and hopefully one day he believes he'll find her. Overall, the episode, it really was. It's just a building up episode for the season or the mid-season finale and it was it was kind of boring the episode like I even as I said in this review I lost interest halfway when I think it was June was talking but and then the whole thing at the LTA really or not the LTA the whole Alicia thing really annoyed me that they're actually going to kill her off so I'm very mixed about this episode it I think this how this episode reflects is how I'll know how I feel about this episode after seeing next week's episode if they actually how this whole thing plays out I don't know what's going to happen I don't know if I'm going to like it either way I'm going to find out next week because and I don't know I think there's rumours that Fear might be getting cancelled or even not cancelled just wrap it up because I think Scott Gimple said there's a huge announcement going to come I think they said at the end of next week's episode so who who knows and well Talking Dead be next week so a lot more stuff will be happening next week so who knows what's going to happen but if you'd like the review don't forget to click subscribe like and as always thanks for watching